Hello, and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your gloriously intelligent maker and engineer, Robin Mitchell. Today, we will be looking at an AI accelerator card that will turn your artificial intelligence into an actual intelligence. I am, of course, talking about the MX3 M2 AI Accelerator module from MemoryX. If you want to have a chance at winning one of these boards, then leave a comment in the description below telling us what you'll do with it. The MX3 M2 AI Accelerator module is a PCIe Gen 3 device that connects to your favorite PCIe bus via an M2 connector and, once connected, will empower your system with an artificial brain. To be more specific, this board is an AI accelerator, making it easier and faster to run all of your important Edge AI applications, and, thanks to its specific use case for AI, will provide you with an extremely high power efficiency, essentially eliminating those pesky toasters that we call GPUs when trying to run even the simplest AI models. What makes this board utterly amazing is what I like to call the punch to intelligence ratio. Just like many professional fighters whose intelligence is almost always inversely proportional to their power, this small module packs a whopping amount of AI capabilities while consuming a tiny amount of power. Capable of holding up to 80 million 4-bit parameters, this module can perform real-time inference on data streams, including those from video, audio, and even measured data. As such, this device will not be able to knock you out cold with a single punch, but instead could easily identify objects in live stream images, recognize shapes and patterns, detect anomalies, avoid obstacles, and even do your tax. Well, I think it could do your tax. Coming in two variations, one with two chips and one with four, and as of today, the 23rd of May, only the four chips currently available, the MX3 M2 AI Accelerator module houses the MemoryX MX3, which can provide up to six teraflops when operating at one gigahertz, and if pipelined with up to 16 chips, can provide up to 96 teraflops. Now, keep in mind, this is the chip itself, while the module only supports up to four chips at the moment. Supporting 4-bit and 8-bit weights, this chip can be used with a wide range of models that have been cut down for efficiency purposes. There is rarely any need to run models with 32-bit weights, and all of this results in a power consumption of between 0.6 to 2 watts per chip. The module combines all the needed parts to make these chips work together and with modern operating systems, which means that this module, and this is where it gets super cool, pardon the pun on power, because it can support most popular frameworks, including Onyx, PyTorch, TensorFlow, Keras, and TensorFlow Lite. As such, you can develop your projects using a typical desktop environment via Ubuntu, Windows, or Android, and use this accelerator natively. Because of some clever design decisions, this module is also processor agnostic, supporting x86, ARM, and RISC-V. The use of an M2-2280M key means that it's compatible with many modern computing platforms, and the operating temperature range of minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius, along with the ability to work in 10 to 80% relative humidity, non-condensing for those who are profusely sweaty engineers, means that you can use this thing in many different environments, if you get my drift. What? The MX3 M2 AI Accelerator module is super duper uber perfect for just about any application that needs to run small AI models on the edge in real time. What this means is that you won't be using it to run things like LLMs. Instead, you would take multiple camera feeds, audio sources, signal sources, or even ketchup sources, feed these data sources into the module, and then get AI results on that in real time. So, for example, you could have a self-driving robot that has multiple camera angles, and each of these cameras is fed into the module for identifying items and obstacles of key interest, such as people, boxes, and lanes. All of this would happen in real time, so it becomes possible to have the robot control its motion as it processes data via the AI. Thus, no need to stop and scan the environment and think about it. No need to wait for power to become available, thanks to its low power consumption, and even better, no need to use the system resources as the AI is held entirely on the module. Another potential application for the MX3 M2 AI Accelerator module is in an industrial production line, with cameras observing items passing by on a conveyor. 
Thanks to its ability to be used in real-time applications, items can be instantly identified and then further processed, whether that's fire sorting, selective machining, or even anomaly detection. Finally, I think the MX3 M2 AI Accelerator module would be perfect for even good old desktop environments where the user wants to have an AI model that's always running in the background. This module doesn't have to connect to cameras or microphones and can take just about any data stream, even those from files. As such, this could be used as an MPU providing AI acceleration in the same way that GPUs accelerate graphics in gaming and rendering. By the way, if you want to see some excellent code examples for the MX3 AI Accelerator, then look no further than the MemoryX GitHub, which includes many project examples, including a cartoonizer, aimbot, and virtual painter. The MX3 M2 AI Accelerator module is a truly amazing piece of hardware, giving you the ability to accelerate AI-based applications all while consuming a tiny amount of power. With its support for 4-bit and 8-bit weights, some serious tops, ability to be used with M2 key PCIe slots, and its unusual environmental capabilities, this module will undoubtedly accelerate your AI projects into the future. If you want the chance to win one of these modules, then leave a comment below telling us what you would do with it. And as always, this is Robin Mitchell signing off. <laughs>